the world says hell is ruled by the devil and you'll be separated from God there. Come on, come on. Come on. The Bible says, Psalm 139, verse 8, this is David talking to God again, If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Revelation 14, 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Capital L, Lamb, that's Jesus. That's right. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Revelation 20, verse 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So God's going to be there. There's no such thing as eternal separation from God. That's right. Yeah. right. I mean, the devil's going to be burned in torment like everybody else. Yep. He's not in charge. God is. That's right. Good. Good. Amen. The world says Mormons and Jehovah's false witnesses are the only ones who try to convert people door to door. Come on. Come on. This one's almost true because Baptists aren't going to part. Yep. Right. And Mark 16, 15, and he, Jesus, said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Is he saying this to Mormons and JFWs? Come on. No. <laughs> Don't let him show you up. Get out there and preach the truth. Amen. 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 The world says science disproves God in the Bible. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, first of all, the Bible says, Job 26, <laughs> verse 7, he stretcheth out the north over the empty place and hangeth the earth upon nothing. Yep. Ecclesiastes 1 7. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Under the place from whence the rivers come, thither they return again. Job 28 25. To make the weight for the winds, and he weighed the waters by measure. Genesis 3 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. Women have seed, they're not just a vessel for the man's seed. Leviticus 17.11 For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. So the blood letters should have been reading their Bible. That's right. That's right. Psalm 8.8 8, The fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. Ocean currents. 38.7 When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. When did man discover that stars emit not just visible light, but frequencies across the whole spectrum, some of which can be listened to with a radio receiver? A long time after God already had it down in the Bible. Amen. Job 38, 16. Hast thou entered into the springs of the sea? There's hot water springs on the bottom of the ocean. Job 38, 24. By what way is the light parted? You can part light with a prism. Which scattereth the east wind upon the earth. Sunlight heats up the ground, it heats up the air, it becomes less dense, it's displaced by cooler air, that sets up a wind current. The light causes the wind. That's good. That's good, man. Genesis 17, 12. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. The eighth day is when the immune system gets going strong. Hey. Wow, how did these men that wrote this book of myths 2,000 years ago, years ago know all this stuff before it was discovered? Yeah. Oh, that's good. yeah. Second of all, I want to refer you to Kent Hovind's creation seminar because this topic is way too involved to cover everything in a sermon like this. Just watch out for his false plan of salvation at the end of his videos. If you want to be safe, get your Kent Hovind videos from youngbaptist.com. Amen. Yeah. Third of all, the Big Bang violates the first law of thermodynamics. Right. Yep. Macroevolution right. violates the second law of thermodynamics. Yep. Organic evolution violates the law of biogenesis, and it's mathematically impossible. Science disproves evolution. But nobody wants to admit it because right. yep. right. they don't want to pay for their sins. But you don't have to pay for your sins anyway. That's what Jesus is all about. Amen. 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 It's good. The world says the Bible has to be interpreted. The Bible itself says, 2 Peter 1.20, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation. Right. Right. Good. So you don't have to put your own spin on it. Just use the Bible to interpret itself. It'll That's tell good. you what it means. Yes, good. That's good. The world says the NIV is an easier to understand version Come of God's on, Word. Come on. The real Word of God, King James, says, Proverbs 30, verse 5, Every word of God is pure, Amen. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. Amen. And they will not unto His words, lest He reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. That's right. Deuteronomy 8, 3, And He humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that He might make thee know, that man does not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Good. Good. Let's compare. Let's look in your real King James Bible, Revelation 22, 16. Last chapter of the Bible. Uh, 
I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Yep. Who is the morning star? Jesus. Jesus. All right. I'm going to NIV here. Let's see what they say. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. According to the NIV, who is the morning star? Jesus. All right, we can agree on that. I'll look at Isaiah 14.12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? All right. NIV. Can you find it, I think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe. <laughs> How have you fallen from heaven, O morning star? Come on. Oh, no, that's okay. not the word yeah. of God. That's right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Good. If you don't understand the real word of God, first of all, get saved. Amen. Amen. Right. The Holy Ghost to help you. Amen. Second Amen. of all, learn the meaning of a few words. I'll give you some right now. Thou means you, and it's singular. Right. Good. Ye Good. means you, and it's plural. A fin, F E N, means swamp. To know, it's a euphemism the Bible uses for sexual intercourse. Adam knew his wife. Yep. But not every time. Sometimes no means no. <laughs> <laughs> wine means either grape juice or alcoholic wine. We went over that. To wax means to increase. And so on. Just ask God. He'll help you understand. Good. The world says Jesus had long hair. Come the on. Bible says, 1 Corinthians 11.14, Does not even nature itself teach you that? If a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? That's right. That's good. If you have Da Vinci's Last Supper hang on your, hanging on your wall, just take it down and burn it. Amen. That's yeah. not Jesus. That's blasphemy. That's right. right. Amen. And even if it were an accurate portrayal of Jesus, you shouldn't have any picture of him at all. That's, that's an right. idol. That's Two right. reasons to burn it. Show some respect for your Savior. Amen. That's good. Amen. The world says Jesus could come back at any moment. <laughs> Jesus himself says in Matthew 24, 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 1 Thessalonians 5.1 But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly unto the day of the Lord, so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, that sudden destruction cometh upon them, as to prevail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Amen. It's good. Yeah, it's not gonna, he's not going to come as a thief in the night to those that believe. Amen. Amen. It's good. It's good. Second Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.1 Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, or by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, Amen. the Antichrist. That's good. So I haven't studied this extensively, but as far as I can tell, we're going to have some warning. The tribulation, yeah, right. the Antichrist, the sun and moon being darkened, some things have to happen first. It's not going to be any moment. That's right. Yep. Yep. That's good. 